So next step is we're going to mount the tubes on the tube holder boards. Um, you have to split these up into individual units. And here especially note the silk screen. So tube goes on this side, connector goes on this side. Um, there's also a little arrow here which says the tube front and this ring around uh, the bottom here says the front of the tube goes this way. You could put them in the wrong way around and that would be silly. Okay, so um, the leads on this tube, the wires aren't very long. Uh, however, what we want to get at the end is we want to get the tube on the board and have a little bit of space underneath it. So, you know, maybe four or five millimeters, quarter of an inch maximum. Um, and to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little trick that I, li I like to do. So I'm going to trim the wires in a spiral, being careful not to go too wild with it. And leaving the wire where I started as the longest. So you can see that they're in a spiral there. And this makes it quite a lot easier to get them in. Now I happen to know, this is an IN14, that this one here with the white blob on it is the anode, uh, which goes right at the back. And then what you can do is you can wiggle the wires in. Don't force anything too much, just gentle pressure going round in your spiral. Gently forcing the wires into the holes. Now the great thing about, so that one's, I'm going to have to force that one too much, so get a small pair of pliers and just give it some persuasion to be more or less in the right location. And then the rest should happen kind of automatically. Okay, now the next trick is to make the tube actually stand vertical. So you see we've got it in, we haven't soldered anything. So I'm happy with that spacing from the, the board. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack one pin to stop it falling out. And this while we're fiddling around with it, that means that it's not going to go anywhere. So now I can adjust it so that until I'm happy that it's vertical, when I think I've got it more or less vertical, then I'm going to solder another pin. And you're not really committing yourself at this point. And here's another little, little thing I like to do. The tube actually sits in the middle of the solder reel. So I'm going to do a pin over here and a pin over here. So is that still vertical? That looks to me to be a leaning a little bit backwards. So I'll just loosen that one a bit. Still seems to be leaning backwards. Okay, I think that's okay. <clears throat> Let's trim that up a second. Ooh. So the leads that I've set, I'm going to trim off. That is actually leaning a little to my left. So, now that's leaning a little to the right. Take the extra time on this step because it will give you a much better result at the end. And now that's 
It's overcooked it a bit that way. Okay, good. That's, uh, that's, that's good. And then we'll whiz around and just do the other pins. As you can see, it's not a, uh, a great story, a great problem to do these things. You don't need to set the jumpers. They, uh, they can both remain open. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll make sure there's no spikes or hard edges. And I'm going to do the extra step on this one. And I'm going to, um, at this point already, I'm going to put the header pins on there as well. So cut off one, two, three, four, five, six, six header pins. And these go on the other side like that. Now what you can do here is you can actually use the board as a bit of a jig. But you have to remember to support the tube or press it flat. Okay. All right. Two, three, four. And then we can gently ease it out and do the other pins there. The ones behind are a bit of a pain to get to, but well. And for the ones behind, we have to be a little bit inventive how we get in there. Okay, let's see if we get signs of life from this tube. And indeed, zero, one, two, three, four. So it's going through the startup sequence now. So it's gonna go through all of the digits, just repeat going through them over and over and over again. So that's good. We can also check the other, um, the other digits. So they're all working in the same way. So I will now do the um, remainder of the tubes and uh, we'll see each other later when they're done. Just one other thing to note. You can see here that a pin has been snipped out. This is one of the, um, the decimal points and often you'll find tubes where one or both of the decimal points have just been removed. This doesn't mean your tube is anyway defective, it just means it's been removed. So some of them have them, some of them don't. 